Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Today I'm here to share what my two-year-old daughter Zaya eats in a day. I think a lot of toddlers go through this, but right now Zaya is going through a very picky eater stage where she's very particular about what she wants to eat, when she wants to eat it, and how she wants to eat it. So I'm not gonna lie, it's been a struggle recently to try and keep her on a healthy, balanced diet, but today I'm just gonna show you a realistic view of what she would normally eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. I am a single mom, Zaya is an only child, and I am a busy work from home mom, which makes mealtime a little untraditional for us because usually I'm just trying to make one small portion just for Zaya and trying to prevent having any leftovers or any wasted food. So I do use quite a few shortcuts just to make it work for us. So hopefully this video will give you guys some ideas. So today is a weekend, meaning she's not going to preschool and she'll be eating all her meals at home. So let's just start off with breakfast. If it were a preschool day, breakfast would probably be a little bit quicker than this, but I'm gonna try and take my time a little bit today and make sure that she has a balanced breakfast. So I'm starting off with some strawberries. One good thing about Zaya, even though she is a picky eater, is that she does love pretty much all types of fruit and berries, so I always try to add that into her meals. And she loves strawberries, so I'm just cutting up some of those for breakfast. And when I'm cutting up fruit for Zaya, if I cut up a little bit too much, either I will snack on it or I'll keep it in a container and save it for her snack later. Protein is one area that we struggle with because Zaya is really picky in that category, but luckily she does like scrambled eggs, at least most of the time she will eat them. And here's a little hack on how I make scrambled eggs for a toddler when I really only want to scramble one egg. I want to make it fast because she's getting antsy waiting for her food. So instead of pulling out the pots and pans and everything and scrambling an egg on the stove when I'm not even going to be eating eggs then I like to just do this hack where I'm just taking a microwave safe mug just a regular coffee mug I take the egg crack the egg straight into the mug add some seasoning of course a little salt and pepper nothing too crazy for Zaya and just take a fork and whisk it up and then you literally just throw it in the microwave for one minute and the egg will cook and scramble itself in the mug and it's the perfect way to to make one scrambled egg in about two minutes that way you're not wasting time or wasting dishes I am also going to be giving Zaya some juice to go with her breakfast this is just hundred percent apple juice I always like to look for a hundred percent juice and even sometimes organic juices and I also do a hack with the juice I mean it's not really a hack but just to cut back on the amount of juice that she's drinking and cut back on sugar from the juice I always dilute the juice with about half water so either I'll fill up her cup halfway with juice and the rest with water or once I've already taken some juice out of the juice container I will actually fill up the whole juice container halfway with water to dilute the juice and you get twice as much drink out of one bottle of juice one more thing that I'm adding to her plate are just these little mini muffins from the bakery at our grocery store these particular ones are like an apple cinnamon muffin and like a lemon poppy seed I'm giving her one of the apple ones she likes these obviously because they're sweet but they're pretty tiny so I don't feel bad about giving these to her and it just kind of completes her breakfast. I find for us it's always a balance between just getting her to eat enough food to be full in the first place and also trying to balance being as healthy and balanced as possible. I recently purchased a new set of plastic toddler silverware. Super cute. Came in a bunch of like matching rainbow colors that matches with like her plates and her sippy cups and stuff. So not only is it kind of fun to learn your colors and she kind of always wants to pick what color silverware she wants and what color plate and you have to match the silverware to the plate but I like the fact that these actually came in sets of a fork spoon and a little dull butter knife so that she can kind of practice using different silverware and trying to quote unquote cut her food even though this knife is really dull and she just likes playing with it and it's kind of helping to teach her table manners and stuff like that so if you guys are interested in where I get all of her plates and cups and silverware and stuff I will link it down below.
Something that I've taught Zaya from a very young age is how to clean up after herself so she knows to take her dirty dishes and put it in the sink. I wish she knew how to actually do the dishes but that'll come later but at least for now she knows when she finishes her food you grab all your dishes and put them in the sink. Are you ready to eat lunch? Do you want some pasta and some fruit? Okay, sit down and I'll make your pasta, okay? Okay. What's your favorite food? Um, fruit. Fruit? Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and, and what else? Food. What's your favorite food? Um, noodles. Noodles? So today's lunch is going to be kind of a funky, weird combination of penne pasta. This is just a pre-made pasta salad that I get from the grocery store. And I'm pairing that with a hot dog, which I really don't like hot dogs, but Zaya likes them. And with her being a picky eater, I try to just give her what she likes and what she will actually eat. So I just make the hot dog the easiest way, roll it in a paper towel, and heat it up in the microwave for about 30 seconds. This pasta I like for her because she is obsessed with mac and and cheese and sometimes that is the only thing she will ever eat so I'm trying to switch it up and introduce her to different types of pasta at the least I really wish that she would eat the tomatoes out of this but she refuses to eat the tomatoes probably because of the texture I know a lot of kids and adults don't like tomatoes for the texture but I am also going to be pairing some pears with this lunch just to give her some fruit these are organic fruit cups so all I do is just pour the extra juice out of the fruit cup that way she's not making a huge mess when she eats it and I like to add that on just to make sure she has some type of fruit or vegetable with every meal and of course once the hot dog is done being heated up in the microwave I just make sure that I cut it up into toddler friendly non-circular pieces that way she does not choke when she eats them it's very important to cut your hot dogs lengthwise and crosswise that way they are not circles which are the perfect shape to get caught in a toddler's throat so always make sure you're chopping up your hot dogs moms so like I said I am a work from home mom and I do work on the weekends and a lot of times meal time is actually a time when I actually have more time to get my work done when Zaya is sitting at the table distracted eating her food so this is a great example of a super quick and easy meal that didn't require any cooking or any crazy prep time I could get her her food fast get her satisfied with enough food to fill her up and food options that she actually enjoys eating and I'm able to get back to my desk and finish my work now of course with parenthood everything is a balance sometimes you have to prioritize getting your work done and sometimes you want to prioritize actually making a nice home-cooked meal for your child so of course I don't feed her the same things every day and it's not always like this but I just kind of wanted to show you guys some really really quick fast and easy meal ideas for your toddlers if you guys have the same issues you need some fruit snacks. Hmm? The shimmer shine ones. Okay. Where are they? So I'm sure if you guys watch my vlogs, you saw this coming. Zaya has a Barbie snack, fruit snack addiction. So she probably eats one pouch a day of fruit snacks and that is her daily treat. I really don't keep a lot of cookies, candy, or ice cream in the house. So this is what she likes to have for a sweet treat. Moving on to dinner. Dinner is especially interesting because Zaya and I hardly ever eat the same foods. I know a lot of times parents will just make a normal meal for themselves and share it with the toddler, but I have food allergies and Zaya is very picky, so 
I pretty much always have to make separate things for us. So for Zaya, I am once again taking the easy route because I am also trying to get work done on this day as well as filming this video that you're watching right now. So I have just taken a frozen bag of broccoli which is steamable in the microwave in the bag and literally you just throw it in the microwave for five minutes and it cooks in the bag, super, super simple. As well as these kid fresh chicken nuggets which I have talked about before on my channel. I really love this kid fresh brand because they make a lot of foods that have really good ingredients, organic ingredients, but they are kid friendly, picky kid friendly foods that are really easy to prepare. So all I do is take these chicken nuggets and put those in the microwave as well. So yes, this is basically a full microwave dinner. We've been using the microwave all day. I have no shame, judge me if you want, but this is what works. After the broccoli comes out of the microwave, all you have to do is season it up however you like to have your broccoli. I'm just adding butter, salt, pepper, and lemon pepper. And I just love doing these microwave hacks on a busy day because it cuts back on dishes, it cuts back on the time you spend in the kitchen, and it just makes life so much easier. So the chicken nuggets are done, the broccoli is done. I was able to make this dinner in under 10 minutes and I only used one dish that's just going to be thrown in the dishwasher at the end of the night. Now I know I'm keeping it super real and realistic in this video with no shame, but I actually was a little bit ashamed of the fact that I did not have anything to cook for myself. So I actually ordered Uber Eats for my dinner and I ordered from this chicken restaurant. I think I got like a grilled chicken sandwich and I got fries on the side. French fries are Zaya's absolute favorite food. So there was no way that I could enjoy my fries without giving her some, but I made the mistake of giving her a few French fries before she ate her broccoli. And that was just a huge mistake mistake I tried to give her some raspberries to kind of balance it out but she only wanted to eat the french fries and it caused a bit of a temper tantrum but I just wanted to leave this clip in here because I think it's super realistic for moms out there who are struggling with picky eaters it is so hard sometimes to get your child to eat their vegetables eat your broccoli or else I'm gonna take the french fries Eat your broccoli and I'll give it back. Now keep in mind, broccoli is actually Zaya's vegetable of choice. Any other day she would have eaten this broccoli right up, but when it comes to french fries, there's no comparison with broccoli. You're not having any more french fries until you eat your food. The thing with picky eaters or just toddlers in general is that lots of times you cannot force them to eat. They will spit it out, they will force themselves to vomit, they will throw big huge temper tantrums and after a while you just kind of have to ignore it and let it go. Oh, Where's your plate? What are you doing? Walk. You didn't want to eat your broccoli? Why not? Well, that means no french fries and no dessert either. So yeah, as you guys saw, Zaya went behind my back and dumped her broccoli in the sink, but she did end up eating all of her chicken, which was at least a small victory. This is an ongoing battle. I know it will probably get better as she gets older and finds more foods that she likes, but hopefully you guys found this video somewhat helpful and at least got some ideas on some easy foods that you can offer your toddler and ways to speed up the process if you are a busy mom. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already. Comment down below some things that you like to feed your picky toddler and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!